Hey guys, I'm Mate and welcome to a science-based fitness channel. What we're going to talk about today is cyphosis. We've got three points to cover, uh, the three what's. So, what it is, what is it doing, and what to do about it. Stay tuned and we'll go through all three of them. So, as I said, we've got three what's to go through. Uh, we're going to go with the first one now, and that is, what is cyphosis? Now, uh, you, you've, you've seen it all, all around, uh, you might have it actually if you're watching this video, it's probably because you have it and you searched on YouTube. Uh, it's a good thing to stop by. So, cyphosis is basically uh, an arched back or a hunchback. Uh, you might, heard, might have heard the both terms. Uh, but just to, sh to give you like a visual uh, example is when you've got your shoulders rounded forward and then your chin pointing forward as well. So basically this is something, this is how somebody that has cyphosis looks like, right? Um, now that we know what it is, uh, we're going to go on to the second point which is what does it do? Okay, so we know what it is, uh, now the second one is uh, what does it do? Uh, now, actually apart from pulling your shoulders forward and your chin forward as well and up, cyphosis is actually tightening your pec muscles, so your, uh, that's why your shoulders come forward, because these muscles have the, uh, this is actually, they're responsible of this movement, of pulling your shoulders towards the center of your body. Uh, that's, this is called an abduction, abduction, sorry. Um, now, while doing this, if you look at my back, see, while doing this, it's actually stretching my upper body uh, muscles. Now, traps, uh, rotator cuffs, rhomboids, uh, they're being stretched and being held in that position is actually making them really, really weak. Uh, short, uh, pecs become even stronger because they get shorter and shorter and shorter and back muscles are getting longer, longer and longer and, that, and thus being weaker. Uh, they're not able to support the weight of your head and that's why your head goes forward dropping down a bit and lifting up the chin. Your body is trying to compensate and uh, is actually tightening your upper trapezius as well uh, just because of that and your pecs are actually uh, stretching your medial trapezius and making it weaker, not being able to do its job and your upper trapezius does the job of, your, uh, of the medial trapezius as well. So the, just to sum, sum it up, pecs are really tight back muscles are really weak, unable to do their job and all that extra um, uh, work falls onto your upper trapezius uh, which gets shorter and shorter and tighter and tighter adding tension and it, it could cause um, headaches just like random headaches with no reason whatsoever uh, it could cause dizziness, uh, blurry vision in some advanced case um, and uh, apart from that uh, you would get shoulder pain and uh, just uh, blood, bad blood flow towards your brain. Okay, now we're back um, for the third what, and that stands for what to do about cyphosis. I know it's a nuisance uh, having it, uh, it's kind of like mm, just doesn't, it, it keeps you unmotivated and you're not, and you don't want to start anything. So that's why I came up with just three really simple exercises. Uh, they're like the baseline for whenever you start uh, improving your uh, posture if you have cyphosis. So the first two are actually with the bar and uh, they're basing uh, on the principle that you need to strengthen your back muscles. Uh, so every time you do a scapular retraction, which is this, you're helping your uh, cyphosis go. So the first one, just make sure you grab, you can grab like a towel or even like a rubber band. It's good with both. I got a little bit uh, interrupted, but I was saying that two of the exercises are uh, with the bar, or you could grab a towel or a rubber band. It just depends on uh, what you have available. 
what you do is you choose a grip that is uh, suitable for you. I suggest you start as wide as you can and work, work your way from there. So what you do is from here, lift the bar up. Make sure that you lock your elbows and they stay here, right? So from this position, all the way down. And when you come back, you stop right above your head. And then again, uh, I would probably do 15 reps, three sets or something like that. Um, that that's for the first one. And it's also recommended that you sit down while doing it. Uh, if, you, if you don't have enough control or experience with the exercise, you have a tendency to, uh, have a hyper, to do a hyperextension in your lower back, so it would make uh, the movement easier, but it would lose effect if you do that. So sitting down is going to help a lot, okay? The second one, uh, so actually this one is more for, I would say more for stretching your pecs, and second to activate your back muscles, but the second one I'm going to show you is first to activate your back muscles. Okay? You start from the same position up here, and you should only hold it with these two fingers. You'll see why. From this position, you make sure that you touch your back all the way down, right? So up, down, you stop above your head and do it again. Now, the narrower your grip, the more intense the exercise, but don't overdo it. This, it took quite, quite some time, maybe a few years for, uh, for your uh, cyphosis to uh, activate and manifest, so it's not gonna go in like two, three days, okay? So just give it a, a little bit of time, gradually increase uh, the intensity and make sure that you're not overdoing it. This was the second exercise. Uh, the third one is just a stretching exercise for your pecs. This, these three exercises are the baseline from where you should start if you have cyphosis and it started to act up or it didn't it but you just want to prevent it, uh, which would be actually the best case. Third exercise and last for uh, to help you fix cyphosis or to prevent it is a pec stretch. Now you have uh, two muscles here, main muscles. Uh, you usually use them when you bench press. You usually use them when uh, you do push-ups. When you do um, when you move your arms, like I'm doing now, your pecs are are engaged, more or less. So being used that much, it makes them really tight. They uh, store up a lot of tension. You don't need that, and it's not it's it, it's not doing anything for you except for aggravating or creating that cyphosis. Now, what, what do you do to stretch it? I have a punching bag here, but you can do it uh, against a wall, uh, a pole, or whatever, right? Okay, so all you need to do is you anchor, so you don't necessarily grab it, you just anchor your head here, and from this position, you twist a bit, and you push your chest out, right? Out, and then you would feel a stretch here. If you have, if it happens, and you feel a little bit of pain here, what you would do is you would pull your elbow down like this, and then you would stretch. That way, your joint is going to be uh, in a normal biomechanical position, and you will only stretch your pecs without forcing uh, or how should I put it, uh, overstressing your shoulder joint. That was it with the three exercises. Just to recap, uh, we have two with the bar and one with a uh, punching bag. Two of them are going to activate your uh, upper back muscles and the third is going to stretch your pecs. Now, thank you so much for watching this far. Uh, let me know if it helped you. Uh, drop any comments and questions you might have, like, subscribe, uh, I'll see you guys online.